Hey everybody, it's me Monster Matt 345 here and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing Monster Super Fuel Mean Green flavour. Now for a bit of background this is the second week in a row that I've done a review for a Super Fuel drink from Monster. It is basically the successor, you know, a, f a fair few years ago, Monster brought out Monster Hydro, which was kind of their attempt at doing Monster's own version of Gatorade. And it didn't have the best sales. It wasn't the most popular thing in the world, even though it was basically, it was kind of almost like my, my gateway drug to proper Monster because I used to drink it a lot whenever I was younger. But I don't think Hydro did that well. It was in a bottle, kind of like a Gatorade style bottle. And in Europe, they ended up scrapping Monster Hydro and bringing out Monster Hydro Super Sport. Again, you know, this was a monster that just kind of sat on the shelves. Not many people bought them. To be honest with you, the flavours weren't really the, the best thing in the world. And I'm kind of not really, I'm not heartbroken at all if those drinks are gone forever and don't come back. Because I haven't really been a big fan of them, to be quite honest with you. But this is Monster's third attempt now at the same kind of drink. And this time, instead of being in a Gatorade-style bottle, it's in a can. So it looks like normal Monster. But it's non-carbonated. It's kind of has like an isotonic sports drink vibe. It does say on it, you know, it's for enhanced hydration. It has caffeine in it. It has those branched-chain amino acids, which is a... A thing that's it's it's a thing that helps with weightlifting and working out. It is in it's in um it's in buying energy drinks, it's in the no carb company energy drinks, it's in rain as well. So it's kind of it it's kind of, you know, monster trying to market something towards sports you know, to towards that kind of sports, that performance energy drink market and to be honest with you i'm probably not the target market for it then because i have not been to the gym since coronavirus struck but i i intend on going back you know maybe next year maybe maybe 2024 maybe 2025 at some point i will go back to the gym and i will need drinks like this i just want to say before i get into kind of the meat of the review you know i'm wearing my my scott hall shirt who is a razor ramon shirt i should say that this one says on it but it's just to, to pay tribute to the professional wrestler, Scott Hall, who passed away, unfortunately, this week. I was a big, massive, massive fan of him. And it kind of, it made me very sad to see him, to see him pass away because he just oozed coolness. He just oozed charisma, um, unlike myself. <laughs> so I, I just wanted to draw attention to it, that that's why I'm wearing this, you know, this, this Scott Hall shirt. But anyways, that's, that's another story for another time. Because I'm here to review Monster and I'm really, really thirsty to be honest with you. So I'm excited to try Mean Green. I tried Monster Super Fuel Sub-Zero last time out and was very pleasantly surprised by it. I ended up giving it a really good rating and next time I see it I will buy it again. Because it was just, it was so much different than what I expected. It tasted, it didn't have that, you know, that kind of, kind of taste that, you know, a lot of the other hydros had where the flavor was very muddled and very mixed and you didn't really you, you didn't really drink it and feel like oh my goodness I'm drinking something that's really really good here so I was I was very pleasantly surprised and I'm hoping that yet again this this super fuel this mean green definitely provides the provides the kick that I need and it gives me a lot of energy and let's let's give it let's give it a little a little read here it does have sugar in it and this one sugar and sweeteners i'm not too sure i feel like sub-zero didn't have any sugar in it which is probably now i think about it why it had the name sub-zero because it has zero sugar in it but this is literally something that i have just thought in the last you know last 30 seconds <laughs> so this has got sugar in it it's non-carbonated but it has sugar and that's what i think these drinks need because i think you know, whenever you're working out, yes, the sugar's not great for you, but at the same time, if this is to give you a kick, if this is to give you energy, if this is to push you across the line, then you need a bit of sugar in it. So hopefully, hopefully that will make this an even nicer drink. Mean Green, it reminds me of, I think it was Striker or it was 
oh my goodness, I can't remember the name of any of these old super sport drinks, but there was one that I think might have been called Mean Green, and it wasn't the best to be quite truthful with you. It didn't, it, it just was like a limey sort of cordially flavour and it wasn't something that I enjoyed. So I do feel a little bit like there's a chance I might hate this drink, but we're going to give it a try here because it has metabolic energy. It has caffeine of natural origin, whatever that means. I think they just add that to, to sound healthy. We have vitamins B3 plus B6. We have enhanced hydration, which I could always do with because I do not drink enough water, to be quite honest with you. It has magnesium and it has those branched chain amino acids, which I talked about, that are supposed to... I'll, I'll tell you, in fact, it's supposed to... Okay, it, it, it doesn't tell you what the amino acids do. It tells you everything else but what the amino acids do, but we'll pretend that it's something It's something really good. The, the magnesium, it contributes to electrolyte balance, normal muscle function, and normal protein synthesis. So that's exciting. That's something I'm, I'm looking forward to. The vitamins B3, B6, and magnesium contribute to a normal energy yielding metabolism and the reduction of tiredness and fatigue, and that is something us energy drink junkies can get behind. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna give it a crack it open here, and I'm gonna smell, and I hope that I don't smell the cordially, limey sort of smell that I'm anticipating. Pretty much, yeah, pretty much lime here, I can taste. A very, uh, an artificial tasting lime. You know, for for Sub Zero being a sugar free drink and being being the, the first in this line that I tried, I expected or wanted something different here. But I think I'm just going to get what basically there was a Mean Green whenever it whenever Hydro was out, and it was probably my l least favorite of all the Hydro flavors. So it doesn't surprise me that again I seem to I seem to be about to fall down that path. But let's see. Let's just give it a try. Mmm, yeah, well that's kind of disappointing, <laughs> um, I, 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 I'll give it another try here, but you know, I was eating some, some crisps earlier on, I, I kept this well refrigerated, so in theory, I should be absolutely gagging for a drink right now, and this should be hitting a lot better than it is, and it just has that kind of exactly what I thought it was going to have, that limey, cordially taste. They've maybe brought back essentially the exact same flavour for Mean Green as the original Hydro had because of people demanding it, but I always thought it was the, probably the second best selling Hydro, so it kind of surprises me if that, you know, if they haven't tweaked with it at all. And to be honest with you, the lime's kind of burning my tongue a bit as well. It's not the best drink in the world so far. Mm. Yeah, it's basically what I was expecting it to be. It, it it does have, you know, it does have a very limey flavor to it. That's that's just the the thing that hits me straight away whenever I taste this is pure lime. It doesn't mention any any flavors here, but I would assume that that's supposed to be the the primary flavor. And to be honest with you, you know, guys, it just doesn't do it for me. It just kind of, it tastes a little bit bitter. It's a little bit burning on my tongue. It's kind of acidic. And it's definitely not for me, this one, which is a bit of a shame because I would like to try a Monster Hydro that tries to emulate the flavour of original Monster so much because people see this can design and they think, happy days, this is going to be a a, a non-carbonated version of Monster and you just, you know, you just get this non-carbonated limey drink, almost like a, uh, almost like an attempt at doing a, no, a non-carbonated version of monster super dry because it does leave that dry taste in your mouth as well and that that may be what they're trying to emulate here but 
it definitely doesn't do it for me. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not bad. If you like lime, if you like the the Max, the Super Dry, then I think you'll, you'll be a fan of this. But for me, it just isn't doing it. And I may finish this one, but I don't think I'll be, you know, drinking it again. So I am, I'm a bit disappointed. I've said recently that I have been on a big run lately with, with Monster and whatever other drinks I'm having. And they've just been really great ratings consistently. But this time, Monster Super Fuel Mean Green is a disappointment. And I'm going to give it a 1.5 out of 5, which... It's one of the lowest ratings I've ever given. It is, like I say, it is kind of disappointing. But it's one of those things, it's not for everybody, like a lot of things in life. And yeah, 1.5 out of 5. Monster, Super Fuel Mean Green. If you don't like lime, if you didn't like the original Mean Green and Monster Hydro, then you will not like this because if anything, it's a downgrade. So I'm sorry to say that, but... 1.5 out of 5 and yeah you know not they can't all be gems they can't all be home runs they can't all be be wins but oh, they could have done better here they really really could have done better just trying it again just to make sure that it won't you know suddenly grab me and save me but it's not happening with this one so yeah guys 1.5 out of 5 look i hope you're keeping okay <laughs> I hope that everything's good with everybody. Um, and the, the nights are getting are starting to get shorter here, which is really good because you know whenever the sunlight comes out and the clocks go forward, that puts everybody in a much better mood. I have one of my friends or two of my friends, to be honest with you, are having a child pretty soon. I think this week, to be honest with you. So I'm going to kind of be have that Uncle Matthew vibe going on. So there's lots and lots of things to be happy about. One of my other, my, my other, one of my other groups of friends, pair of friends are having a baby in July as well. So there's plenty of good things going on in the world. There's plenty to be positive about and be happy about, even though I know at times it's it's not easy. I've, I've had a, a tough week. I've been working a lot and my part, my boyfriend's been struggling a lot. Obviously, you know, like I say, the, the, the death of one of my favourite wrestlers of all time kind of put me in a bit of a, a bit of a down mood. But that said, you know, life is all about that. It's all about the peaks and all about the troughs and we can only just carry on and do our best. So look, thank you very much for checking out this video. I hope you're all keeping okay and continue to check me out please but unless you like lime do not check out monster super few i'll put it away it's not the best flavor guys don't try it it's, I, i've heard it's mean and it's it's kind of looking at me now so five out of five for monster mean green it's the best energy drink i've ever tried in my entire existence send help it's the worst